Hey there everybody, it's Mrs. Tosh Morelli here to help you do some lip push-ups with your first notes on the French horn. All right, let's remember how to hold the French horn. With your left hand, you're going to put your thumb in the ring or on the valve if you have a valve. You're gonna put your pinky in the ring and you're gonna rest your three fingers on the valve. You don't want them to be laid out, you want them to be kind of back here so that you kind of have the claw going on here. With your right hand, you make a cup shape. You're gonna put that in the bell and your knuckles on the back are going to rest on the bell and your fingers are going to touch up here like this. Knuckles down, fingers up, just like that. You can rest the French horn on your right leg and you're gonna kind of put it straight up so that the mouthpiece kind of goes straight out from you. Now, depending on how tall or short you are, you might have a little bit more lean, but you want your body to be nice and straight and tall. So that you can play your notes with the proper alignment. All right, so with your high note, your high note is called F and you're gonna push your first finger down. That's your pointer finger, the one closest to your mouth. F, okay. I want you to first sing the F, F, and now play the F. With French horn, it's very, very important that you can hear the note in your head, know what it's supposed to sound like before you play it. Let's play F. When you play, I want you to say da or D in your mouth. Da or D, whatever works for you. Now we're gonna play the F as a long tone. We're gonna to last for about five to seven seconds. All right, remember you're gonna take a fat belly breath. You're gonna use your sizzle muscle. Da or D, okay. One, two, finger down, ready, go. Did you beat me? Did your notes stay nice and steady? Because that is how you do a long tone on F, your high note. Now your low note is a very, very low note on the French horn, and it is called C. We're not gonna use any fingers, but you leave them right on the valves, just not pressing them down. Just leaving them right on there. The C is lower than the F, and it's about as low as you can go on the French horn with no fingers on it, okay? When you play the low note, you're gonna say daw, like D-A-W. Daw, daw. Put your fingers on your chin and feel what your chin does when you say daw, daw. Your chin drops and that'll help you get the lower note. this stage in the game that your lips stay nice and flat not pushed forward in the kissy face you can get the low note with your lips forward but it's going to be too hard for you to get some high notes later on so keep your lips here and drop your jaw in order to get the long note the, the low note all right so let's play a long tone on the low note C Da, like that. One, two, ready, go. All right, did you beat me that time? Did your notes stay nice and steady? 
where your lips in and your cheeks nice and tucked. All right, now it's time to learn about the lip push-ups. Lip push-ups are really, really great exercises to strengthen the muscles of your embouchure. That's the way your mouth goes. First, we're gonna play the high note, the F, and then we're gonna play the low note, the C. Remember, C, F, C, F. But we're gonna start with the F. Remember, you have to push your first finger, F, and then C, Da, Do. Okay, all right, here we go. Lip push-up number one. First the F and then the C. Here we go, go again. Let's do a whole bunch of lip push-ups in a row. We'll do them together. F and then C. Don't forget about your finger for the F. Here we go. One more lip push up. And there you have the French horn first notes. The more that you do long tones with good breathing and sizzle, and the more that you do your lip push-ups, your embouchure muscles will get nice and strong, your ear will learn what your notes are supposed to sound like, and you are on your way to being a great French horn player. Have a great week practicing, and I'll see you at your next lesson.